Okay, now I am painting this floor and I'm hoping to get this floor done. There's a huge gap back here. I have to wash this back wall and paint it. Um, there's going to be a cabinet sitting here. It doesn't really matter, but I do want like any of the fumes that are coming off of this uh, pressure tree to, uh, 2x4s to be sealed pretty good. I'm going to caulk it, put some uh, filler in here, and put this peel and stick right here to because the cabinet goes farther back and you can see a little bit of the wood right here I think I'm pretty sure you can I can't remember um, but it's gonna be having one layer of that board there's not too much to fill here it won't be too big of a big deal but the back there there's about an inch so I do have to figure that out and there's a pretty big hole right there definitely want all of it sealed I'm gonna caulk all of the holes before I put um, anything in I think I saw something crawling over here a spider or something anyway I'm painting it right now and this is really good paint look at this it's a really super tough good paint it made a very thick plastic when it dried on the inside here and I peeled it out. It's very thick and sticky right now because it's been in the building. It's interior, exterior, infinity, one coat perfection, ultra white, and it is really good. Yeah, it's like some kind of wood bug or something. Yeah, so I gotta seal all this up. You know, you bring the wood in from outside and it, it'll have ants and stuff on it and you're like, uh and you don't even see it until it gets in the house. But yeah, we'll uh, get this all sealed up so we don't have any bug problems. I put some uh, borax inside the floor to keep ants away in the future. Um, borax kills ants when they feed it to their their um, leader. Okay, I decided to fill. <clears throat> excuse me, fill this hole with this. <laughs> And then I will come back with another board and put it on top, lay it on top. I have a little board to fit there. And then do that all the way down. But <laughs> look, look how not straight this board is. Look how not straight that is. <laughs> it's, it spins and touches the wall over here. It's like one inch not straight. But it'll work. That'll definitely work. Okay, I have put the styrofoam down and then the caulking on top of that. What's going to happen next is after this dries, I'm going to put um, black tape here, the black duct tape. After this dries, put the floor over top of it, this floor, peel and stick. It sticks really well to duct tape actually and the duct tape helps to balance the uneven floor so that it won't just crack uh, it has some flexibility to it um, that's all I can say uh, so this right here comes out of the wall pretty much but the hole is completely sealed um, I did put styrofoam wood black tape the duct tape um, shims 
across it. So all of this is sealed really, really well. Um, there is a hole right there from the floor to that shim, and I will caulk that up, but I just want to make sure that the cabinet fits all the way back in the back. You see how there's like, there's three floors on this side, but there's one floor on this side. And that's what I'm contending with right here, a downward slope. So that should be good for the cabinet to sit right on top of. Um, and also I have a two by four in the back that goes back here for the other part of my cabinet because this was a bigger, deeper cabinet than what that new countertop was. So I did have to have a two by four back in the back there. So, my paint is so old and it's so thick that this is, this is as far as I got, but I made sure that it's going to cover where that cabinet is going to sit in. So this is like never going to be seen right here. This probably will because this is going to be a type of like open cabinet right here with my metal shelves that pull out. So I will have to do a lot of work over here to make it pretty just when you're looking at it but yeah and there's a downward slope there as well and we couldn't do anything to fix that that's just how it turned out so we will have to be doing some leveling and some putting some uh, baseboards up I got to rip that all of that paper off of the wall I have to rip up and make this really pretty I'm gonna be spending a lot of time over here fixing this up and getting my shelves pretty but um, this is done for now and I'll come back, I'll clean up, whoops, this has to dry. I'll clean up all this um, caulking off of the floor. This floor has been like a miracle. It literally takes so much abuse and still goes. It's really great. But yeah, I'll clean, I'll clean up all this. I'll get a baby wipe and clean it. Um, the styrofoam really, really did its job. When you go to the store, it's called backer board. There's my 2x4 that goes on my, on the back. So when you go to the store, it's called backer board. You basically, it's foam in a circle, in a tube, and you basically just push it down into your huge gaps, and then you caulk over it, and then it fills the hole. And it's also very insulating. So that's all that I had was the styrofoam, and my mom has been collecting like she gets um, mail, she gets her medicine stuff shipped to her, so when she gets it, she gets all kinds of Tyvek envelopes, bubbles, styrofoam, foam, sound insulating foam in some of her medicine. It's like, this stuff is very expensive if you go buy it, the sounds, sound insulating foam. So I'm very curious as to why they are using it to ship her medicine, but it's been really great to use it in certain parts of the house as like insulation and to like fill air gaps and stuff like that. It's been been pretty interesting. Um, so I still have to, I'm just going to take a break right now, clean this up, take a break, and wait for it to dry probably an hour, maybe two. Slide this cabinet in to see if it still fits, because it did dry fit um, before I put this trim in the back. So. Hopefully that will still fit. This looks like garbage. I hate that I had to put shims like that, but I literally can't do much else to that. But there it is. We'll see when we get the cabinet in. Okay, I'll put my black tape down over the seams. And then I'm going to put my peel and stick down just in the front. All right, got my black tape down. <coughs> All right, black tape cover in the seams. I'm just gonna pop this in. It's gonna be different layers everywhere.
I've got my filler cabinet in here. Countertop's going to go on top. There's my filler cabinet. Needs a little more space because I also want to put my cutting board there. But the cabinet will scoot it over a little bit and then I have to attach this to this cabinet. Yeah, happy so far. Got to level it. Okay, the cabinet's in. Hadara's going to put, we had cabinet pulls. He's going to put one here and one here, one there and one there, and I think I only have one left, and I don't know where the other one is, so we may have to buy one, but get these done right here. And there's two that's going to go into one and have even more space left over. And I have two cabinets here, two drawers. These are going in the trash. I hate them so bad. Um, Got to take the... Here's the door pulls off of these. They came like this. They weren't spray painted. This is uh, oil rub bronze. So this is my new pots and pans cabinet. It is enormous. I had four little drawers across here, one little drawer here, and I believe one drawer is going to hold everything that was in all of those five drawers because it is enormous. So I got this a long time ago at Goodwill. I just recently washed it again today. I washed this out. This is, holds my regular silverware. I'm not sure if this will hold anything, but in my other drawer, it did not fit at all. And I'm pretty sure this will fit with room around it. So, yes. That fits with room around it. And then we got this one. And I got a bunch of these. This is all my drawer with fit. Like this and this, and it was real tight. So, yeah. One of those will fit there. I like my little spoon. Cut my little spoon. Wow. Got big spoons. Got big spoons. You have big spoons to go there. Yeah. Big spoons have to go down here. You have butter knives. Knives here. Nope, knives don't fit here. Knives have to go here. You have forks. Forks. And then we got little spoons. Got like regular spoons. We got long spoons. Well, we got long spins. The long spins over here. All right, where's my... Oh, I don't have... Got to wash more dishes, I guess. So, I'm hoping to get, like, all of this stuff. All these extra stuff. Like that. Straws and weird knives. Put them all up in here. What in little weird knives? Yeah, this is going to be great. That fits there. That's good. Wow, this is going to be nice. And I have straws and accessories and stuff over here. What's this? Uh, you broke it? It's an egg cutter. Mm -hmm. Alright, we'll put our we'll put our straws right here in our weird knife set. I gotta wash this out. Look how dirty it. Let's call it feather knife because the feather part these. is shaped like a feather. Oh yeah, they are pretty, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Like feathers. I can put my plastic plasticware here. Look at I found. Is that drawer shut like that? Nope. I found something. Oh yeah, it's a weird cutter thing for vegetables. Put some weird stuff over here. Put all of these bag clips in here somewhere. Let's put them over here. Oh, I've got plenty of space for everything. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. It's better than our old drawers, that's for sure. For sure. It's a whisker. Yeah, something like a whisker. For real, for sure. For real, for real. I'll yeah, have to get some kind of cabinet F -R -F -R, there. F -R, that Ooh, means yeah. for real, for real. For real, for real. Yeah, that's a turkey, a turkey grabber. I'm gonna make some beans while I'm figuring out my cabinet situation. I think I came up with this. 
So we have. Need a we need a couple more things, right? Knives, big knives. Uh huh. Long spoons. Long spoons. Tiny spoons. Forks. We need to put regular spoons. Huge big spoons. spoons. And then we'll put something else there. Got some knives, straws. Got my pizza cutters. Some. You know what? I'm just gonna get rid of these because I don't use them. I, I literally, we don't open packages here. We open them and eat it. So, I'm just gonna get rid of those. Give them to my mom, see if she can use them. Ow. I use this quite a bit. Yeah, we don't do that. Okay. Um, ice cream scoops. We got the rolls here for sushi rolls and we got some skewers back here. So I have a big open space. Probably going to put some of my plastic wear here, but honestly, I already have a whole set of it over here, so I'll probably be getting rid of some of that. What's in here? Well, I don't think I have anything in here yet, except for a bucket, but this is a very deep pots and pans drawer. We could put your apron so. in there. <laughs> no, I got a place for that. Um, so I have some pans here. I have several more uh, cake pans. I just have to get them there underneath of the table right now. So I'll probably put some uh, cake pans here. Put my pots and pans in the very bottom one. Put cake pans and um, baking sheets and stuff in there. You aren't subscribed yet? Please subscribe and like. Comment and share. Fully living. <laughs> Ooh, let's do it again. <laughs> So much easier than a cop gun, I can tell you that. Type of organizer just for, you know, stackable organizer, because I can stack it pretty high. To level this up. You are seven inches.